Hey guys, it's Katie and I'm so excited. Today's video is super different than anything we've done before. I obviously have Ryan here. Hey. Um, and we wanted to do a meet my husband because you guys see him in my Instagram posts and my story and the YouTube vlogs and we're going to be doing way more vlogs this year. So yeah. I thought it'd be good if you actually know a little bit about him. And today is our six year wedding Yay! anniversary. Yay! Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> um, so we wanted to share a little bit more about us and our story as well. So yay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so Ryan, Team LSF. He's like a we've huge... already met. I, like I know, met. but like maybe not everyone. Not officially. Not officially. <laughs> and he's a like major part of Team LSF. So this is going to be fun. Yes. Um, a bunch of you guys asked questions on Instagram over the last week. So we have them here. These are really fun questions too. Some are silly. Some are just like... Do we have my funniest Basics. question? I said I'd answer the funniest question in the Instagram post. I think it's on here. Okay. I'll let you pick it. Okay. <laughs> you'll find the funniest one. Okay. But let's just like tell them a little bit about who you are. They know about me, obviously. Yeah. So like, where are you from? Give me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're Diane Sawyer. Ready? <laughs> Go. Who are you? Uh, all right. I am Ryan. I'm from Orange County, California. I'm originally from here. Yeah. I grew up uh, where we around where we live now. Um, I went to school in San Francisco, go Dons, USF. Um, and we moved back down here. Uh, and I met Katie seven years ago. That's right. Gosh, that's crazy. I know. Weird. Yeah. Um, so I'm from San Diego originally. Some of you know that, some of you might not. And lived in Carlsbad, and he was working in San Diego at the time and living in Carlsbad too. But that's not how we met, which is actually one of the questions. So yes. we'll get to that first. Do you want to tell them how we met? We met on eHarmony.com. Yeah, we did. This is not sponsored by eHarmony. <laughs> and we got hats after we got married. They sent us hats. We, so we wanted to be in one of those commercials where it's like, this couple got married off eHarmony. Hey. Um, so we sent them an email and we said, what do, you, what do you think? And they sent us hats. And that was it. Yeah. You had to like make a whole video. This is like way before Love, Sweat, Fitness YouTube days. So it seemed like a lot of work at the time. We met when online dating was not a thing. Thing. It wasn't cool. I kept it hush hush. I didn't really like talking about it. Um, so yeah, eHarmony is how we met. Our first date is the next question. Mm. That was in San Clemente because he was living in Orange County. I was in San Diego at the time. So we met halfway at a restaurant. Yeah. Is that how you knew you loved me? Because I was willing to come halfway. I thought that. Me, I halfway. thought that was a good thing. I mean, <laughs> yeah, because it's, it, it's a drive. It was a good good drive, yeah. about an hour. Or so I felt like, hey, she's meeting me halfway. That's pretty cool. So if you're dating somebody and you're a girl, meet them halfway. That's okay. He did buy dinner though, so that was good. So we I met for dinner. dinner. Um, I think we actually set it up to be drinks because again, online dating, you're like, oh, I don't know, this could like go one way or another. I'm not sure. Um, but then we ended up like closing down the restaurant for we we're there like three hours, which is nuts. I knew it was gonna be good. Katie had this profile picture on eHarmony of her laying on a bed with her hands like this. Like, I mean, <laughs> how cute is that? I was adorable. Really adorable. <laughs> okay, enough of that. All right, next question. Yeah. What do you like to do outside of Love Sweat Fitness? Because obviously we spend a lot of our time filming, editing, working. Yeah. Uh, outside of Love Sweat Fitness, I ha I do have hobbies. I have lots <laughs> he of, does have a lot of hobbies. Lots of hobbies. I don't know how you time for all your hobbies, but... Yeah. Um, so I am a big sports fan. I'm a big Lakers basketball fan. <laughs> if you like a different team, I don't care. I love my Lakers. <laughs> That's it. Um, so yeah, big sports fan. Love Lakers, the Dodgers, pretty much anything in Southern California. Um... Other than that, I like music quite a bit. I used to uh, be a DJ when I was younger <laughs> in high school and in college. I DJed in like warehouse raves in LA. It's very bizarre. Uh, my dad would drive me to them and then like watch. I was 16. <laughs> different. And then I really like, uh, so I like, I like music a lot and then I really like movies, um, especially I'm a big Star Wars nerd, big time. Huge Star Wars. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm all about those and very excited for the new movie. You guys, the amount of Lakers and Star Wars stuff we have, mm. not only in Ryan's office, which is so minimal, but in boxes and boxes and boxes in the attic, is out of control. Lot, well, they're valuable collector's items, guys. What are you going to do with them? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if we have that kid we were talking about, then they'll get them. <laughs> or I'll sell them at some point and then, like, you never know when, like, one little stormtrooper is just going to be... <laughs> Just that nest egg you need, right? That's true. This is a good one. Uh, how did Ryan ask your parents for permission to marry you? 
You remember why this is a good one? My dad. Yeah. Oh. Katie's Sorry. dad is awesome. So if, you, <laughs> if you've ever seen like the most interesting man in the world commercials, that's Katie's dad. He's that guy, but he's actually, he's like way more dangerous. Like, and he, way more interesting. And not like dangerous in like the like he might hurt you sense, like international man of mystery. Wait, like the fact I he's always still say alive. that. Does that have bad connotation to it? I don't know. The fact my dad's still alive at this point in his life is shocking. Yes. Anyways, <laughs> so when I was going to propose to Katie, I invited Jerry out to lunch and we went to get Mexican food because he loves Mexican food. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was a great experience. We had lunch. I asked him, he started crying, which he does a lot. Yeah. And then the best part about all this, he ordered a round of tequila shots. Oh yeah. My dad loves me. What is one word you would use to describe each other? You want to describe me first? No, you go first. One word? Oh, it's so hard to put into one. You have so many great qualities. <laughs> Oh, I think if I were to put it into one word that kind of sums up everything, it would be passionate because I feel like in the way that you care about me, you love me, like the way that you approach life, your job, work, love, sweat, fitness, everything you do, you do with like total conviction and passion and put 120 million percent into. And it's like when you care about something, you are like all in, which is so admirable. Thank you. You're welcome. That's, that's, that's a, oh, I'll take that. That's yeah. a good one. Uh, if I had to pick one word to describe Katie, I would I would say I would say it, it sounds like very simple, but I'd say kind. Like Katie is the most kind person you will ever meet. I mean, that is real. Like if you feel like that when you watch her videos, like that's that's real, Katie. That's legitimate. So um, she would do anything for, for anyone she loves. And I think that's a, an amazing quality. So a lot of people, I think, act kind and like they can sometimes be nice, sometimes not. But Katie is generally just a good, kind person all the time. And that's hard to... You make to, me cry. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel's back there cheering up. Thanks, babe. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, that's really sweet. What's one thing or habit that mm -hmm. drives you crazy about each other? Not like, it drives you crazy. Not in a good way. Like crazy. Oh, yeah. Because he is my best friend. I love him so much. But you still drive each other a little crazy sometimes. Go ahead then. I got yours. Go ahead. You know what it is. Um, I have an idea. Okay. Jeez. There's not a lot that, I mean, there's little things here and there. But like pet peeve wise, nuts. Like drives me <laughs> insane. Oh. When we're eating, when we're at home, it bugs me because then I feel like it creates this habit that will carry out to in public, which it does sometimes, and I have to like, elbow, elbow. Um, Ryan likes to not use a knife when he's eating, and instead, if he needs to scoop something onto his fork, just uses his finger. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but it's not, it's not like I'm like shoveling with the finger. This is all I need to eat most meals, pretty much anything. You're like a caveman, you like stab your food with it. No, I'm not, I'm not like this, and then this, no. It's like this. It's, okay, look it. Sometimes quinoa. I'm right. Quinoa, okay, quinoa is a great example. <laughs> Stab you. Sometimes I just go for it. I'm like, I can cut most things, and then we can just get it. And we're good, right? But occasionally, it needs a little assist. Yeah, but that's what they made knives for when you're a grown man. Well, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I just, I don't know. I just feel like just the fork. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, mine is. But like, it's so easy that you have it. <laughs> Yeah, I know You're because ready. I'm like every every room in our house I go into, I'm like constantly hit by this. We have misters, dif diffusers. diffusers in like virtually every room. I'm surprised they don't have one in my office yet. But we have we have one in here. We have one in the bedroom. We have one in the kitchen. There'll probably be one in the bathroom. Only three. <laughs> in the whole that house. we know of. There is a fourth one that's just not out right now. That's true. See, so we have these diffusers. And they like smell fine, but I walk into these clouds of puffs of smoke. It's a cloud of happiness and joyful moments, oh, actually. No. It's joyful moment oils. Mm -mm. Yeah. Diffuser tour break. Diffuser number one. Diffuser number two. Diffuser number three. That's what happens. I walk into the I walk into the room every night. And I just get hit right in the face. Also. Oh, you only get one. <laughs> kombucha. What? Oh. I don't like kombucha. I don't I don't care if it's healthy, I don't like it. What is your favorite way to spend time together? How about that one? Okay. I like that question. Yeah. 
How did Ryan respond to your fitness journey? Oh, you want me to answer? Well, I think it's addressed <laughs> to you. Um, amazingly. So I met Ryan at my absolute heaviest. So right when I had like decided to start making changes and really like change my lifestyle in general was about like a month or two before I met him. So those before pictures you saw of me were in August and then I met you in October. So yeah. just a couple months, I guess. And it was still brand new for me and Ryan wasn't necessarily unhealthy. Well, you were already unhealthy. Fairly unhealthy. He wasn't necessarily overweight. Right, right. <laughs> but he wasn't very healthy either. So Turns out, <laughs> steak, cheeseburgers, burritos, they're apparently not that healthy. It goes to show you, like, your your weight, your body doesn't always necessarily reflect your no. health or, like, what you're fueling your body with. So, anyway, he was awesome. He was, like, totally on board with wanting to educate himself, learn more, work out with me. Like, it was so cool. And I think that was something, yeah. like, really special, and it allowed us to have a bond beyond just like, oh, we liked each other and it was cool. Like we committed to each other. We were there to support each other on the days that I like didn't feel like it. He would jump in and be like, okay, let's go whether he wanted to or not and vice versa. I think a lot of people, okay. yeah, I mean, a lot of people ask us, you know, what, what, do, what do I do if I have a partner that's, you know, not into it? Mm -hmm. And I, I, we, I think we say the same thing all the time. Like you have to talk to them about why it's important to you, yeah. why you're doing it because having each other to change both of our lifestyles, I, like it was so important, yeah. not just for Katie, but for me too. Like I, I, I think I've changed a ton and like weight wise, I would say I have probably haven't like lost a ton of weight, but I've like changed from body fat to muscle, which has been great. Mm -hmm. I know I don't look really muscly, but, <laughs> um, are we going to have kids? We get asked this question more than ever. Oh, not by my parents, not by Katie's parents, no. just by random people. everyone else. <laughs> Everyone else wants to know. Short answer, we don't know. Maybe. Possibly. We we don't not want to have I'm that. not against it. <laughs> we're just, we're not. We are under the belief that like we want to both equally or at least close to equally be like, yes, yeah. we want to have a family, have kids, feel passionately about that because otherwise I don't think it's fair to bring a kid into the world. I, like I really... I like spending time traveling with Katie, yeah. so we travel, as you guys know, quite a bit. And those are some of the best times because we're not your conventional travelers. We make a point to stay away from tourist destinations and just kind of venture off and do the stuff that we like. And we move like really quickly. We spend yeah. a couple nights in places, but that makes for crazy adventures, like good stories. Yeah, super fun adventures. Yeah. We have so many good travel stories. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Also, um, because we're going to be doing more vlogs, if you guys have ideas of where you want us to travel to and yeah. vlog, comment below and tell us because, I mean, we've hit a lot of places already, but I'll take we're just starting the vlog, so there's going to be, we've had a couple, but there's going to be a lot more. Have you ever wanted to do the thing where you show up at the airport and you just like pick yes. a... Yes. I feel like we should, we should do, do that. Should we make that video? Yeah. I think yeah. that could be... But, be okay, but here's my thing, like... I guess you can how make you the best pack? out of anything. Yeah, how do you pack? Well, whatever, we can get stuff when we get there, but yeah. what if you just end up somewhere? There's awful places to go, guys. Wait, there but is. you get a choice still. Well, you could you say no, like... but yeah, but that ruins Wait, the fun of it. what do you mean? No, like if you just like, what is it, roulette? Like roulette it, right? Like where you just say, you go to the airport and you're like, I don't know how you... That's how, what I'm saying. Like, can I just it? be like, I want to go to Hawaii? No, today. no, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's oh, not the game. Okay, the okay, game okay. is you pick somewhere random. Okay. You don't even get to know. You like assign numbers. Like Albania. Well, no, you wouldn't like actually go to Albania necessarily. <laughs> it would just be totally okay. random. Okay. So. Yeah, we can do that for sure. All right. Um, you want to rapid fire the rest of the questions? Yeah. All let's right. rapid fire. Who said I love you first? Me. Yeah. Favorite musical artist? Justin Timberlake. Michael Bublé. Mm. <laughs> All right. Uh, what was your first impress impression of each other? Uh, I thought Katie was very beautiful when I first saw her, and uh, she was wearing a very lovely dress, and yeah, I thought oh, she was great. Oh, remember that. I thought Ryan was super adorable, a little too clean cut for what I usually went after, and maybe a little short, but he wasn't actually, he was like way taller oh, than me. I had on giant wedges, I know. 5'11". I had on giant wedges at the time. You could say six foot on a good day. <laughs> Uh, what um, was our wedding like? It was awesome, coastal, so uh, overlooking San Clemente Pier, yeah. where we actually, where I proposed. Yeah. Um, and uh, super chill, super yeah. us, like fun and beautiful, but like simple. I mean, plenty, party, no bad wedding songs. Good music. We had uh, open Mexican food spread. Yeah, it was good. What is your dream vacation? I feel like we've already done it. Our favorite place to go in the world is Spain. 
in particular Ibiza. Uh, we found magic there. It's not because we like to party. It's yeah. because Ibiza has Beautiful. many, many wonders. That's so so it's the best place. Yeah, I mean, for sure. Okay, next question. What's one thing that keeps your marriage happy? Friendship. Oh, that's a great yeah. one. Yeah, I was going to say like communication that's and friendship. It. Yeah. Like we actually like each other, yeah. <laughs> which is nice. But we talk about everything. Like, again, it's not perfect all the time. Like life is life. Like things happen, but we actually communicate how we're feeling. And I think that's yeah. hugely important. And unfortunately is like missing in a lot of friendships, relationships, like everything. Like just say it like it is. It's better for everyone. Communication. For sure. I think okay. it's a good one. Real quick, fast. Yeah. Where did you find the courage to start LSF? Ooh, I mean, I am I know this isn't why you asked this, but honestly, for me personally, I think a lot of that courage came from Ryan. Like, he really helped, like, That's inspire. Nice. No, it's true. Yeah. Like, it's nice. you, he really helped inspire and ignite, like, that passion inside of me and gave me the confidence to be able to do that. Like, that's, <laughs> I would have continued teaching classes and, like, had this passion, like, wanted to do something more, but I don't think I would have had the confidence to do it without your, like, encouragement and support. So, thanks. You're welcome. Well, we could do that. <laughs> it's true, yeah. I didn't, there, there was my funny question. I remember I hearted it and I don't think we got to it. So hold on. We're going to make a quick trip to the LSF Instagram here. By the way, if you're not already following at Love So Fitness on Instagram, go do that while, while we're doing this. Okay. Oh, found it. Found it. Taylor Shea Smith. Thank you for this one. How long did you date before you passed gas around the other and who did it first? Hashtag the true test. Oh it is the true test. <laughs> uh, answer, I don't think very long. I don't think we waited very long. So we didn't really wait very long for anything. No. Our relationship, well, hold on. That sounds bad. We got married after six, oh, we didn't. We got engaged, we got engaged. In six, uh, six months after we met, and then we got married yes. essentially six months after that. So within a year. We were married basically within a year of meeting. Anyway, I, I might have to plead guilty on this because... Like, very quick into our relationship, we went to the counter and got a burger, and I got a veggie <laughs> burger, and he got a beef burger, and I hadn't really eaten beef in, like, a year, but it sounded really good, so I wanted to take a bite of it, and I got, like, deathly ill. Like, mm. stomach, horrible situations, and he spent, like, the entire night taking care of You're me. really glazing over the, the end of this story here. What is then? Well, the answer to this question. Well, I'm trying to, like... <laughs> Without saying it. Katie's trying to get a ton of sympathy, like, I was so sick, and da-da-da-da-da, when really she's saying, I farted first. Anyway. And then the floodgates are open. If you're a girl and you fart first and the guy's like, well, guess My it's game on. My dad's going to be so mortified <laughs> watching this. We passed that hurdle, and here we are. I'm glad you still love me. Yeah. Okay, Good. well, yeah, I feel like that was, like, a ton of questions. Hopefully you guys know Ryan more now. You obviously got to know me pretty well, too. And if you have more questions, because yes. these are coming off Instagram, so for all of you on YouTube, if you have another question, just leave it in the comments below. Yeah. And Katie and I will both be in the comments right when this video goes up. So if yeah. you're there commenting and asking questions, we will answer them right away. Anyway, okay, you guys. Sweat the thumbs up, give it a little click. If you like this video, comment with any questions you have. And don't forget, good things come to those yeah. who sweat. I like having you do that. That's yeah. fun. Okay. <laughs> Bye.